Meanwhile, South African households are grappling with soaring utility costs, now averaging 2,038 rand monthly after inflation. According to a study by Power Optimal, which reveals water tariffs have skyrocketed by 2.100% and electricity by 1.710% since 1996, far outpacing inflation. While utility prices have surged over 200%, disposable income has only increased by 37%, straining households' finances. Economics professor Walter Krichel comments on the situation. Inflation has been falling over the past few months, decreasing to 3.8% in September, safely below the midpoint of the Reserve Bank's target band. It is a shame that administered prices are spoiling the party. Water and electricity tariffs have increased at rates above the average inflation rate for many years, and this is putting household budgets under strain. To add to the frustration, the quality of service delivery has deteriorated. Currently, ESCOM is applying for a 36% tariff increase in 2025, and the Reserve Bank sees this as an upside risk to the inflation outlook. Many people are looking at the Minister of Finance and next week's MTBPS for some kind of relief, but he has little room to maneuver. The long-run solutions lie in restructuring these markets and using private capital to fund maintenance and investment. But this requires new regulations and governance structures that are still being figured out.